is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're gonna be talking about several different topics in this video here today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about jeepers creepers reborn we'll be talking about final destination and then we'll be talking about saw x a little brief mention of saw x so just to kick it off with scream 6 scream 6's trailer date has been changed there was a date that was locked in that again i did not share here on this channel but since the individual who was leaking things was spreading this date and with paramount as well as radio silence most most likely being aware of the trailer date that this leaker knew of for Scream 6. The, the trailer just seems like it's coming so, much sooner rather than later, according to stuff that's been shared with me. Now, how do we know that the date was changed? Well, for one, I will say that a few days back, I was tipped off that the trailer would likely be coming much sooner than the plan date, which was a sign that plans had changed. But then Big Screen Leaks tweeted this a few hours later or even a day after I found out what I was being told. He said that if I, in response to someone asking why they won't reveal the trailer date for Scream 6, they said if I did that without my source's permission, I could burn that bridge and even worse, get them in trouble. Besides, the trailer date has been changed, so if I said the original date, then I would have been wrong. I'll tell you guys when we're a few days away from the release. So combined with what I've been told, this comment here that indicates that Big Screen Leak was also told that the date was changed, and then as well as another follow-up with the person I'm in communication with, giving me a more better understanding of when the trailer exactly is coming this trailer was pushed up it's still coming this month but it's coming sooner rather than later in the month because that's when it originally was coming it was coming later in the month and that's all i will say but i'm certain it had to do with the fact that this leaker was leaking things so they want to be ahead of the leaks and want to make it seem like they're in control and not the leaker and not have people thinking that what the leaker said is legitimate so i do believe that what you will start to see closer to the trailer as well one you'll see the runtime start to pop up online of what the trailer length will be two you will also see maybe them doing those red blood blood droplets once again from the official scream twitter account but we'll see what happens because the trailer yes is still locked in to release this month it's just coming sooner than expected so on this next topic just to talk about final destination shout out to this user on twitter omni for tagging me in this for this next bit of news so devin sawa was asked about doing a legacy sequel to final destination on twitter a user wrote if they wanted to do a legacy sequel and ignore the others would he be down and devin responded with a simple yes now i'm all for a legacy sequel to this film but i do not think it's necessary it's also not something that's happening what's happening as we know is we currently have a new final destination movie to expect in the near future so how would a legacy sequel if it were happening work though maybe you set the movie 20 years later from the paris incident if it's ignoring everything that's happened after that first movie you could set it maybe 20 even more years later from that paris incident carter was killed by the sign and alex and his girlfriend have been dodging death for the past two decades and we get to learn about this during this new tragedy that also draws in several targets for death to attack and for us to follow given that it's a feature length movie now a life like that does sound very stressful and of course it's probably impossible to cheat death for 20 years straight but hey i'm willing to imagine that if they can execute it right and, it, and i know a lot of you would eat that up too if they were to somehow do a legacy sequel and we come back with alex and his girlfriend and we learn that for the past 20 years since that paris incident they've been ducking and dodging incidents related to death and maybe they even have some bad reputation about being angels of death kind of like how what's what you hear about with sydney and scream 4 maybe they literally are angels of death because everywhere they go everywhere they go tragedies happen people die but it's never them I mean, that could be a really good legacy sequel concept, but of course it's not happening. But if it were to be executed right, I'd be down for something like that. Let me know what you guys would like to see for a legacy sequel to Final Destination if one were to happen, because Devin Sawa says he would be down for one. Now, just to jump into Jeepers Creepers Reborn, Jeepers Creepers Reborn has done what I thought it might, and that is the fact that the film has made more money internationally than domestically here in the States. The movie has also collected over $5 million at this point, and it seems to be on its way to earning $6 million in total for a theatrical release project. I don't believe this includes some home media contributions just yet, so that could add to this number in the future if not already. The reason I'm bringing this up though is because it is quite sad that again they handled for the way that they did. 
Michael O'Hoven's Infinity Films apparently has rights to make the movies while Myriad Pictures was supposed to have rights to distribute the movies. They did not go about doing this correctly. They went straight to screen media. That is why they resulted in that lawsuit that they had. And I believe that is also why the movie took so long to promote itself, market itself. And then finally, ultimately, we got that cheap marketing for like a month. And then the movie came out and it was just gone. So hopefully they can get back on the same page if that's what it comes to hopefully myriad pictures and infinity films and they can put water under the bridge and put out a quality fifth movie then so be it and this movie hopefully will occur in the future with jonathan brick back and if we get to tell a story that's set 23 years later without trisha at the center of it then so be it but if you but what you really need to be doing is finding the appropriate talent meaning people passionate for horror and someone who can pin a terrifying story not someone like Timo, who clearly, judging from watching that movie, has no understanding of how to build tension, how to really set in any real sense of terror or dread or unease with anything going on on screen. Nothing in on on the screen of the film or on screen during that film was intense. It was none of it was terrifying. None of it was even remotely nightmare fueled. It was just very dry and bland as a supposed horror movie. So that's all I have to say there as far as Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Just to conclude this by talking about Saw X, Viranon tweeted this a few days ago or a day ago. He said that it's early, but I've heard from a few people Saw X is shaping up to be a surprisingly good sequel, neck and neck with the franchise's best. To me, the franchise's best are Saw and Saw 2. That's just me. I know some people will add to that list, but I think some of the franchise's best are down to two, Saw <laughs> and Saw 2. Uh, Saw 3, I would say, is probably close right there behind them. Now, it's early, again, like he said, but he's heard from a few people Saw X is shaping up to be a surprisingly good sequel neck and neck with the franchise's best. The film, from what we know, is currently filming, so I can take this as those involved are just pleased with what they have shot and going back and rewatching, they're pleased with what the movie is turning out to be. So why wouldn't they be pleased with this? At least everything seems to be going well, but hopefully their sentiments, from what Viewer Non is hearing, will end up being the general public sentiments when this movie releases next October or this upcoming October because Saw X again my biggest hope is that it's able to be a proper send-off to the character of John Kramer Tobin Bell can stop returning to the series and if Saw X somehow allows them to open the door for future for a future return of this franchise without Tobin Bell's presence then I would be down for that but I think that this is their one last goodbye to the franchise if 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 it's not successful it's their one last goodbye and if it's a good goodbye then that'll be even better but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.